Center will be maximized in order to continue to provide a state-operated hospital safety net for admissions from the Region 1 South area. The ongoing evolution of this plan was organized under the Mental Health Rebalancing Advisory Work Group, introduced at the last topic here. Briefly, this work group is co-chaired by Director Jones and Mark Doyle from the Governor's Office and is organized into six subcommittees. These are hospital engagement, service models and innovations, community education and support, service, um, service financing and payment methodology, system performance and outcome assessment, and messaging, media, and uh, legislative liaison. With the exception of the system performance and outcome subcommittee, all are co-chaired by community partners with the experience and expertise in the specific area of focus. The plan reflects their input, experience, and recommendations for a regional, community-based mental health service delivery system that is flexible, comprehensive, and responsive to the needs of the Region 1 South community. These subcommittees and internal DMH rebalancing work groups have convened over a dozen meetings in the last several months, analyzing data, reviewing service models, and obtaining feedback from community partners on how the plan can be strengthened and enhanced. Central among these were clinical focus groups that analyzed the 10 most frequent diagnostic presentations to Tilly Park and recommended those services necessary to avert to avert admission and those services necessary for stabilization in the community. The results of those clinical focus groups revealed that slightly more than 50% of individuals did not meet criteria for inpatient care and in fact could be better served with an array of community-based services to include intensive outpatient services, substance use specific services, and brief observation and then linkage to intensive outpatient services. The results of this clinical focus group coupled with that of the DMH interim group and the input from the service models and innovation subcommittee develop the specific plan elements which constitute the Tinley Region 1 South Rebalancing Plan. Based on, the, on these data and the input and guidance from the community stakeholders, a request for information, RFI, was, de was developed and issued on April 4th. And we have a copy of that RFI today. This RFI invites existing DMH and DASA community providers to apply to offer one or more of the elements of the plan and encourages provider collaboration to promote system integration and coordinated care. Responses are due April 20th and will be reviewed by DMH community system experts. This is all in an effort to fulfill Director Jones's commitment to have funding available to community partners in May. This is in order to provide community partners with sufficient, sufficient organizational planning and training time to be fully operational in July. The development and refinement of the Timney, Timney Region 1 South Rebalancing Plan has been a data-driven process enriched by input and collaboration of community and regional experts. The structure and the subcommittees will continue to meet after the closure to ensure that the needs of individuals previously served by Timmy Park are met in a timely, comprehensive, and recovery-focused manner. The Division of Mental Health is grateful for these collaborations in the service of promoting community-based care in Region 1 South. Thank you very much, and I'll turn it over now to Mr. Mark Doyle from the Governor's Office. I know that uh, time is of the essence here, so I think uh, Dr. Ferguson has covered all the highlights of what's happened since the last time we got together from that, so I'm going to uh, turn it over to you. No? Okay, then we'll just open up right to questions. Please. 
Are we ready at this point, especially since there's an RF? 